Hello and welcome to the final night of the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. I can just say that the winner has been announced and it is France. And I'm very glad to be now be joined by Mohit Altrad, who is the overall winner for 2015. Mohit, huge congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, why do you think the judges chose you out of a very strong field this year? Uh, I, I think we were looking for an inspiring story. On the top of having a successful business, they are looking for an inspiring story which gives hope to the humanity to be better. Because uh, making business and only generating cash and money and making the business growing and growing, that's not enough. And now that is not necessarily the right way to make life better. And that was your message from the stage, accepting your award, a message to humanity, you called it. Yes, this is message. my message. You see, if you look at my story, I was born in the, this Syrian desert where, where I am a Bedouin, a very poor Bedouin. And uh, my mother uh, was abused by the head of the tribe who abused of her actually twice at the age of 12 and 13 and that was to give birth to my older uh, uh, brother and to myself and that is and then she died immediately and uh, one could consider that is finished but very very slowly, very early, I thought that I should not die. I should fight for life and succeed. And that is what I did. Obviously, I have some areas where I had some chance to succeed. And I took advantage from this very small opportunity uh, to, to do something which is good. My one, one thing you said today from the stage, if I may, that you said that you can start very low, but you can yeah. eventually go very high. This is, uh, you see, one of, I wanted to just to give this message to the humanity. It's maybe just a drop of water you in the sea, but I wanted to exist. And what, that is why I wrote a novel, which is very largely autobiographic, called Badawi. Badawi is Bedouin in Arabic. And it says really that you could start from nothing, you could go very high. But obviously there are challenges. The challenge that you accept this challenge, which is you work hard to, 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 to have the chance to go up and to go higher and higher. But basically you're saying that people can follow in your footsteps. There is chance out there. If you come from yes. very humble beginnings, you can become, like yourself, you said, you can become a billionaire, you can succeed. Yeah, this is really my story, which is, I, uh, you see, when I was in the desert, I, uh, I had nothing to eat. Yeah, you, you, you wake up in the morning, you don't really know what you are going to eat the day, nor the day after, nor the day after. And that is a difficult, uh, it's a continuous miracle. You could be beaten by uh, uh, an animal. Uh, then the first hospital, the next hospital is maybe 500 uh, kilometers from here. But you have no chance to reach because there is no car, no means to go to the hospital. And even if you succeed to go to the hospital, you are not sure to find any medicines to save yourself. Well, Mohed, it's a very inspiring story. And again, huge congratulations on the award. Very well deserved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, my message is really a message of hope. What I th was trying to say to my other entrepreneur like myself, that what we need is stop becoming robots making money. We should give part of this money to the people who really need it, just to, to exist, just to eat. It's a very strong message. And again, Mohit, thank you very much for thank giving it to us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.